Can we up the video quality actually, or is this like max? Okay, it's max. We'll make make do. We'll make do. So UI looks all right. I'm not hating it. You've got your 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 frame here, party frame here. It's good. You can see cooldowns are here and here. Um, I'm guessing your cast bar is going to be like here or something. Target is here. Arena frames are here. Um, I like the concept. I think if anything, you'd be better off moving these up here. And then moving this. Well, I mean, you wouldn't even need to move this in so much. It would be like here, right? And then the, your raid frames are going to be like here. Something like that. So then you're going to have box, box, and cast bar. And that way, it's like, it's more balanced. Um, <laughs> I feel like if I'm going to play on this UI, eventually my head's going to go like this. Because you're constantly like looking like this. <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not bad. I've seen a lot worse UIs. Um, the concept is there. You can probably hide this with some scripts just to get a bit more screen real estate, but it's minor. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the improvements I would say. But to be honest, your UI is like pretty strong right now. You got your cool uh, enemy CDs there. I don't know if you've got any sort of diminishing returns. I guess we'll see that once we get started. Um, but yeah, overall pretty good. You got your details down here for reviewing stuff. It's fine. Um, most of your cooldowns are down here, from what I can see, which is nice. Uh, grip can come down here. Desperate prayer can come down here. Don't need to have those up there. Trinket as well. Why do you have your? Why do you have some CDs up here, right? And others down here. Now you have to look at two places when you're trying to fucking check out your CDs. What if, what if you're like, all right, fuck it. I, I, I need to check what I've got. Oh, okay. Uh, what have I got for next? Oh, have I got PS? Checks for PS. Oh shit. No, I haven't got a PS. Okay. Maybe I can pre-dome. Oh, got to go check up here for dome. You know, and now the, now you got stunned and you didn't pre-dome. So get, get your CDs down, down here. Like you've got random fucking dog shit down here. You've got fucking health stone. Uh, you got schism, which never gets used. You got mines here. There's not even a cool line. Get that shit up here. Um, rest is pretty much fine. Um, bindings themselves, I'm not going to go into because I can't fucking see them because of your 720p downscaling. Um, and to be honest, I think bindings are quite a personal thing anyway. And I probably end up talking for like 20 minutes about it. So I'm not going to do bindings. Um, I did a YouTube video on bindings. If you're interested in that, um, or interested in changing bindings at all and, and want to kind of hear my philosophy on binding stuff. But other than that, just, if you're happy with them, just keep them. It's fine. Uh, as long as you, as you, main things are, as long as you're binding this, this, and this, and you have key binds for it and you have key binds for this, this, and this, that's the main thing. As long as you have those key binds, you're going to be fast enough to do whatever you want once you're used to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for UI, I think. Um, I don't know if you have any sort of diminish anywhere. Uh, everything else looks okay. Uh, okay, let's press play and get into it. Um, is it, is it enhanced, Boomy? Balance enhance. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to give you giga strats for this comp. Um, because it's random as fuck, but I'll be able to, you know, give you a rough idea. So right now you're very fucking back. I don't think you need to push that much as this. I mean, Boomy has clones, Boomy has root beam. I honestly think I would probably just try and heal bot these guys as much as possible without taking CC. Um, And just kind of see what happens and then maybe go for like a kill fear later on or something, but let's see. 
So at the start, you were back in a, in a pretty good spot. Like I liked your positioning at the start. Here you're pushing. It looks like you want to fear. So Pal's popped his wings. Mage hasn't really done shit yet. And Ellie's again just chilling. This was like your opener. Nothing really happened. It's more. It's just. It's a cast to cleave opener. Let's be honest. Um, you can get the fear there. The pal is just like completely hesitant. Like he's right on you. So shaman's walled actually. Uh, pal hodges you insta. I mean the pal is just just runs on you. Donates himself for the fear. Like you have a long ass time there, right? Before you get hodged. Uh, I guess you're on global. Let's see. You were not on global, dude. You're just chilling, not using globals, and get hodged. So this was uh, this was an easy fear on the pala. Probably get a free tremor. Uh, I don't think you should be this far pushed up anyway. There's no reason to be here. Like you, in this game, you've not contributed anything yet, right? At all. You've run up and you've gotten hodged. Um, you gave wait. You gave someone pi, I believe. Actually, who did you give pi to? Your boomy, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So you gave the boomy pi which you can do from miles away. You press Rapture, even though nothing's really happening yet. And then you get hodged on it. So Rapture went in the bin here. The PI was fine. You got wall out of it from Shaman. Now your Shaman's just going ape shit. You force out a sack. Now you're getting sheeped. You don't death it. Why are you so far from the pillar? Like... You've just like run around and not done anything. Right? And now the mage is sheeping you. And you weren't on global, right? You're casting men. So try and be more aware of what the mage is doing, right? You're not on DR. You need to know. This is why DR is important, right? I can see you've got it here now. So this is good, right? But keep checking it. Keep checking your DR. When you're not on poly DR, like if this team was good, you would have gotten sheeped here, right? Like, does he try? Okay, he tries, and then your boy, sh your boy kicks it, right? So if this mage is better, he goes for the Roth early, gets kicked on that, and then sheeps you, right? You're getting sheeped here. You're fortunate, right? He fucks up. The Shaman manages to get a kick on it, and you force out Sack because of it. Awesome. Like, your go, your go is done. Your team's go is done. Sack's been forced. You either swap onto the Pala, well, Pala's in Africa, or, you know, you, your team swaps onto the Shaman. Okay, Shaman's still in war. So, go is done. You can basically just chill now, move back behind the pillar. Like, you're just doing some damage into Sack. Shaman's getting low. This is where Rapture would have been nice, but you wasted it early. Um, you can literally just chill behind the pillar. You see the mages here. You can just move to this side, right? What you want to do is you want to make it hard for the mage to blink sheep you. And if he does do it, then it, it you want to make it so that it's obvious... Um, it's obvious to you that the mage wants to, sh that it's you that's getting sheeped, right? That the mage is blink sheeping you. And the way you can do that is, is by not healing from direct loss the whole time. If you move to the other side, then most of the time while you're healing, you're going to break line of sight from mage. Then sometimes you might poke into line of sight, right? If you do that and you start, you see he starts casting a poly, like keep an eye on him. If you do that and you see him start casting a poly, just move back out of loss and just spam death on him. If he blinks, you'll get it. If he doesn't blink, then good, no poly. Um, but yeah, your main issue here is positioning. There's no reason for you to be on this side of the pillar anymore. You can go over to this other side. So Pala's randomly dying. I'm guessing he gets like some giga low bubble. Yup, that's fucking unlucky. Uh, what is the Pala even dying from, dude? Just Moonkin enhance things. Does he get convoked? What the fuck kills him, dude? Jesus. Right, so you um you get sheeped. Did you get PS PS off before the sheep? Yeah, you PS here. I mean to be honestly the PS is good. Like is death on cooldown? Death is not on cooldown. How, like, how are you PSing that shit and not death in it? Like, the PS was really good. Right? 
but it's not your first go-to thing, right? You have death up. The PS is good if you if your death is on cooldown and your meld is on cooldown. Then here, this is where you want to have to PS. PS is like your last line of defense, right? Because you can use it in stuns. So it was actually, it was a good PS. It probably saved your shaman to be fair, but like there was, there was a better option for you. So your team just died in one sheet, pretty much, even with PS. You get resheeped? Yeah, you got resheeped. Okay, so this resheep, um, Shaman has wall up. He walls kind of late because he had PS, so he thought it was fine. Um, he doesn't have kick. Where did the kick go? I mean, kick went on air. I guess he did he use it on the pala. No one's casting anything. What does he kick? This. Oh, it's enemy kick. Your UI is just fucky. Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, you need to remove this shit. That's confusing as fuck, dude. Okay, so Shaman has kick up and he just doesn't kick the resheep. Shaman could have lived just kicking the resheep. Like, there's no reason... There's, the reason the Shaman died here, obviously there's a load of fucky stuff that we already talked about, but Shaman 100% could have lived if he just kicks the resheep. While you're in sheep, fucking hammer it into your team that they need to get the resheep. Like, DPS are fucking idiots, okay? Every DPS is a fucking idiot. There's like five DPS in the game that's not a fucking idiot. Like, the only thing that matters, when you get sheep, the only thing that matters is that resheep gets stopped. That's the only thing that matters in the fucking game. The resheep does so much damage and people don't understand it. Like, if he doesn't get this resheep, like, he doesn't even need to wall if he kicks this resheep. Like, you pre-PS the go, right? Like, look at his health. Like, he walls now. And you get resheep now. Like, he doesn't even need to wall, right? You, if he kicks that resheep, he just gets a radiance and he's topped. That's it. But people don't understand how important it is to kick resheep, so you need to fucking hammer it into them. I'm still working on that with my team, by the way. Um, Shaman gets a fucking... No, never mind, he doesn't. It's just an after-game lasso. I mean, I... <laughs> there's not even that much more for me to say on this game, man. It's just like... You are in a bad spot and get sheeped. And then he dies because there's no kick on the resheep. That's pretty much it. Like, you had bubble. You had sack. Uh, you had trinket. Shaman just trinkets as well because fuck it, why not? Throw it on the bonfire. Um, you know, you're in a pretty good spot if he lives here. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's what it comes down to. This one, um, st to be honest, your positioning overall, like the fact that you move here now. Oh yeah, you don't get the fear here, but it's not the end of the world. It's gonna get tremored instantly anyway. Uh, the PI was nice. Positioning at the start was not really needed. You could have just stayed back here. Where is it? Here. Just tell your team not to fucking zerg behind the pillar, or at least your moonkin, so that you can PI him from further away. Against, like, caster cleaves like that. Like, if this team is good, you're just going to get ho hodged and fucking smashed as your comp. Shaman can maybe ground, but, I mean, if the team is good, they're going to kill it. And then what are you going to do against combust? You have to instantly fucking trinket. Next go, you're fucked. If the team is remotely good. Just because, like, you walked in and just donated yourself, essentially. But, like, I think at this rating, you can honestly just play to outlast 
like with your comp, just play to outlast the other team's mistakes. Like if you if you play good with defensives, it doesn't matter like that much what your team is doing. Like they're just spamming damage out. The other team's just spamming damage out. Like cooldowns are going in the bin left, right, and center. Like this guy walls fucking instantly. This guy gets sacked instantly. This guy bubbles instantly. Both of them fucking trinket. Like all of that is like the first 20 seconds of the game, right? Imagine if you just stayed back and chilled, didn't waste Rapture, and then just dropped Rapture like after your PI on the Boomkin. You're literally just trading Rapture and PI for like all that shit. And if Mage wants to sheep you, he has to like double blink across the map. And then you're like, bros, 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 like sheep's coming. You're not getting hodged. If he hodges you, he has to cross the fucking map. Like this. Where is it? This is fine, right? What, like, your, your boomy can just, like, fucking come out over here and nuke this way. Like, he doesn't need to go over here behind this fucking pillar. Wherever he is. And then you just give him PI. And then fucking... They fucking die. And you're just chilling back here. You think the pallet's gonna come to fucking hodge you? No. Of course he's not. He's gonna be shitting bricks because he's, like, 200 eye level and his heals do jack shit. So, like, what's most likely to happen? Okay, Mage is most likely to either, like, blink, DBU. Um, and if you see him, like, moving the w this way towards this way, you can just move back. And then if he, he, he will at le least have to use one blink, starts casting poly, you're now here. You're like, oh, obviously he's fucking polying me. You, like, you can target the Mage or use the death macro. You start spamming death on him. If he blinks again, bam, you got it. Awesome. Done. You know? Like, it's going to be so telegraphed because right now they're under so much pressure because your boys are just one-shotting shit, which makes everything so much more obvious. You just have to know what to look for. Like, what's in this mage's brain is the way to think about it, right? What's in his brain? What does he want to do? Does he want to just DB sheep you out of DB? In which case, okay, you've got a sham with ground and kick. It's going to be hard for him. So yeah, that's kind of that game. Um, that was pretty much everything I had to say. So like, given this current situation, um, this is this is a situation that could like very well happen at any point in any game, right? Against this comp. Um, let's let's negate the fact that you moved in, right? And say that this is somehow how the game has ended up as a result of different things happening. Um, this is just like a basic positioning switch, right? You, you, the mage is here, you just go here and you heal from here, right? Or here, if, if your sham's there. And then if the mage starts casting sheep on you when you're in loss, because you're making a line, right? It's like mage, sham, you, it's a line. So obviously the mage can cast on you. If you see this happening, you just move like this way. Like you need to move like two steps, right? It's so small amount. For you that you actually have to do to move here and then you just spam death on him and then if he blinks this way you get it or you can just come further around if you don't have death and now you're here and mage literally needs to like do one two blinks to get you which let's be honest he's not probably gonna he's probably not reacting to that in time like most mages won't um whereas because you're standing here you have this whole fucking channel like, he can sheep anyone right here. He can sheep him, and he can sheep you. I guess he can't sheep your boomy. But it's like, it's a lot harder now for you to know whether that, sh that sheep is coming on you or not. And you also have, like, this whole extra bit that you need to move. And then the mage can just blink here, right? And he'll be in loss of you. So you're just making it harder for yourself just by standing on the wrong side of the pillar. So try and try and... Switch sides of the pillar using like shit like penance, shit like shield. Like make sure you're like either passing something or you're on global when you're switching this. You know you're out of lo out of loss in this area, so you're not having like dead time where you're not doing anything. Um, and then you can keep switching back and forward like that based on where the mage goes. Uh, I've talked way too long about this game already, so let's go to the next one. Uh, where's the next one?
Um, hold on. MVP, thank you for the prime, dude. Whoa, 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 this is, this, the action is fucking good. Okay, halfway through the game already. We're at half mana. We're against Pala, Windwalker, Ellie. Uh... It looks like Ellie's used most most of his stuff. So it looks like you're targeting people with mouse. Try and bind that shit or try and get some binding sorted for that shit. This PS was really good. PS saved you for sure. Let's watch that again. It's really annoying coming into the game halfway through, by the way. Where do you PS? Do you PS now? Um, one thing I will say is maybe consider turning off this. This, for me, is really fucking annoying. Um, it must be... Like, it... <laughs> It kind of makes me like almost tunnel vision. Like I feel like I can't see what's happening in the game because of it. Um, you can turn it off. Wait, I'll show you. It's this here. Uh, du -du -du. It is loss of control alerts. I, I would recommend turning it off. It's going to make you more alert of what the fuck's happening. Because you get stunned and you're just like, ooh. Wait. It's annoying. Maybe you like it. I don't know. Um, so the PS is actually really good here. Like, very, very good PS. 100% you were dead if you didn't PS here. Uh, you had Trinket up. Um, but they don't have CDs up. So this is what I was talking about earlier. With You, you PS later on in the game when they're not... When they're doing a dangerous go on you with stuns. Uh, or anyone, really. But they don't have Giga cooldowns up. And, like, right now, the PS has huge value, right? Because you don't have to Trinket. And nothing else was used. Uh, your targeting is questionable. Like I can see you targeting. Are you clicking team as well with that shit? Let's see. Yeah, you're clicking team as well. Dude, get get your teammates banned. Get your um, arena one to free banned. Honest to God, you're going to... It's, it's going to be hard at first. But you are going to be... Once you're proficient at it and you're used to not doing it, you're going to be a lot quicker. Nice kill on grounding. Man, I'm so disoriented in this game, like, because it started halfway through. Um, you need to drink it there. Pala gets the blind out of in cap. I think that trinket's fine. I think you had to drink it there. Boomy didn't have anything by the looks of it. Where's your fear? You had fear here, right? Where did that go? The pallet. Dude, why don't you fear out of the beam? Like, yeah, it's gonna get tremored, but like, at least you have it on cooldown and maybe you can fear next go. When the game is scrappy like this, you can actually get value out of it. Use global for dark. I mean, that's just that's just global planning, right? You, you should just have it in your brain that you're fearing off that and prep ahead of time. Oh my god, he's so low. Does he get the snipe on ground? He gets it. They get the sack off. And you fear into sack. I mean, I, I, don't, I guess you don't need me to say anything about that. Um, does Pal have bubble? Pal has trinket at least. I don't think he has bubble. If you fear here, you get his trinket. I'm pretty sure. Like, the shaman should tremor it, but at this rating, the Pala might just panic fucking trinket. No joke. I feel like you're wandering around a lot. 
as well. You wanted to interrupt plus dispel or a mastery. Fair enough. I mean, you're going for like a fancy play, right? But the sack's already up and it's not ending anytime soon. So even if you get the aura mastery off, he's going to fucking top him. Before the sack ends, like it's going to happen. Does your rapture you have it available? I think against shit like this, um, be ready to drop rapture for like, when you're not in CC and you if you come out of stun CC or you there's no threat of you being stunned, be ready to drop fucking rapture. Like you've radiance twice there instead of rapturing, right? Look how much mana you use. Like you're you're fucking done so mana, right? You use like <laughs> all your mana radiancing him when you could have just raptured him. Like you get kicked on penance here, which isn't too bad to be honest. Like, you get a few ticks out. I guess you're playing twists. It looked like a three tick penance. Like, that was an easy rapture for you here. The thing is, right, he shouldn't have gotten that low, right? If you if you just come out of CC and rapture him as soon as this ends, then you're not afraid of touch. Touch is 15%. You're fine. He's He's not going through that shit. Um, I mean, you can even grip. Was he was he fisting? And that's done. What was he fisting, dude? It's just raw damage. Shaman's hexing. It's literally all the monk. Nice to spell. Um, yeah. I mean, I think if you rapture there, everything's fine. Uh, you have PI available. Now you rapture, and it's like, why? Okay, you guys are doing a go on the pala, you get the nice little mind games off. Not bad. Pala dispels mind games, you're not using fear. Where did you fear? When you do a go on the pala, you want to try and fear the DPS. If you get a, f like this pala has no bubble, right? He's, he has his trinket, but you guys have a lot of damage, right? You could actually probably kill the pala on this next go here, right? Like, let's take a look what happens. The monk is on you, right? So, okay, you get a clone on the the boomy, uh, the Ellie, right? You could have just feared the monk here. Right here, you can fear the monk. You're like, okay, we're doing go. This is the trigger, right? The clone, you get the clone on the Ellie. The Ellie's like, yo, I got clone. Uh, your boomy's like, yo, I got clone, right? That means, okay, you fear this guy. You fear this guy. And your shaman's taking the pala here, right? Your boomkin's gonna come up here and hit the pala. And you give him PI. If he dispels that fear, he's just going to fucking die, dude. And if he doesn't dispel the fear, then you have free uptime. But people a lot of the time panic, dispel that shit. Like, your fear does pretty much nothing there. Like, this pallet gets capped, which is pretty questionable, but I don't know how much the fear had to do with that. Maybe it helped. I don't know, it was... It was questionable anyway from him, but honestly, I don't know if you need this stun at this point. With your comp, you this is a this thing, right? Your comp, you generally don't have great stuns. Maybe you can like root beam into cap stun. Oh, he gets so low there. That's really fucking tragic. Oh man, I hate to see it. Oh. Sitting down for a cheeky drink. It was a bit too cheeky and your shaman dies. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is this is a really hard game to kind of commentate just because we start halfway in, but I feel like I've gone through the little individual things that I would say are questionable. I think you need to try and be looking for if you do goes on Pala, you want to look for that cross CC more, um, especially on the Ellie, so he can't tremor. Um, I feel like you should be setting up goes on the pala with root beam on him into cap stun with with fears doing it on the DPS and then mind games on the pala out of it. 
And you're going to kill him in three goes, to be honest. With your comp. Um... Other than that, I don't think you should win this matchup if you're just going on DPS. Um, yeah, baiting fear, baiting dispels with with mind games is really strong. I mean, gen uh, with with fears is really strong. Generally, it's you just don't want them peeling because if you get a strong go on the pallet, especially with the with the root beam, uh, if you get a strong go on him with the DPS in fear, like the mind games almost doesn't matter anymore at that point, um, and Essentially, what it does is it's going to cause him to use another global to dispel himself while the DPS are in fear. That's like what would happen at high rating, right? The pallet comes out of CC, he dispels himself, can't dispel the fears, so there's no peels for your guys, you force cooldowns. Um, I swear to God, you could probably kill this in three... Maybe four goes on the pallet. Every root beam, but maybe you can get some stuff on him in between, but yeah. Yeah, if you have Rapture and they're doing damage and they don't have CC for you, you want to go for the Rapture over the Radiance. But if they're about to CC you, then Rapture is no good, right? You're just going to get CC'd on it. It's not, not nice. I like the kill on grinding there. That was solid. But yeah, other than that, it's more about your team's goes against this rather than your individual misplays. There were a few little things, but yeah. Try, try not to run around randomly too much as well. Like a lot of the time you're running around not really doing anything. Like let's actually take a look like what what your... What do you do? Okay, so this was a switch on you, right? You do a good PS, kiting around. You've got your atonements up. Careful about atoning everyone if you're not playing Trinity, by the way. I'm not sure what talents you're playing in this game. Um, you don't need shield on everyone if you're not playing Trinity. Even if you're playing Trinity, you don't always need all the shields. Um, this is the monks damage but your your boomy lives because of your trinket so it's not too bad Hello sax if you're into sack you're doing some healing with penance getting some men's off it's all fine like you could have done an early radiance there to hit everyone right as well. Where's your shaman? Is your shaman on the pallet? Yeah, he is. The shaman could have been healing during that, all that as well. Shamans have a lot of off healing. I'm not seeing a lot of it. Like, a lot of the time, you're... You you like, you, you're doing stuff, but, like, not with that much purpose. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. Let's watch the next one, because I feel like that game is really hard to commentate. Right, this one's from the start. Last game. Let's take a look. So you're... Wait, what are you playing now? Is this a rep pala? Looks like rep. Okay, yeah. Um. So your DPS just instantly get double stunned. I mean, everyone just instantly fucking exits the dome. <laughs> you hate to see it. Um, I feel like your UI makes it really unclear when people pop CDs and have them up. 
Um, I would consider changing this to having it on the side so that they're bigger. This is really like, I'm fucking squinting in to try and actually see anything. I guess, yeah, you're using the nameplate CDs more, but... I feel like that guy went for the shock on, what was it, Mind Games? <laughs> the Melee Mind Games, by the way. <laughs> Man, if only Mind Games had a 30 yard range, oh, that would be nice, eh? Dude, that kid 100% goes for the shock on Mind Games. Look at this. <laughs> Does the Mind Games even go off? I feel like it goes off into the bubble, dude. Oh yeah, here's the cool one, I can see it. Yeah, it goes off. Like, why? Why? You're fucking zerging in so much for no reason here. Like, your boys are doing a go on the Monk at the moment, and then they're like, alright, let's go Pala, dude. Why not here? Just go like this. You, you, this, is, this is a killer move, right? You go like this. Boop. And fear him. This kid is donating himself to you on the go for a fear. Like, he wants it. He wants the fear, dude. He's fucking gagging for it. Instead, you zoom in, do a little fucking S key. No, it's not even S key. It's just a fucking S. Look at this. You're like, do <laughs> And then you get there and you're like, all right, time to mind games. Time to mind games, guys. Like, <laughs> why? What, what, why are you moving in? There's nothing to move in for. What are you going to do? Like, f fear his trinket? He's going to, you're going to fear the trinket for the nutable fucking execute play after stun? Like, I don't know what the plan is here. You know, there's no need. You can just stay back. Fear the Shaman, you'll probably get his Trinket as well, and then you have tra Shaman's Trinket and Palace Bubble done. Like, there's no way he's peeling it. And then you're not in the middle of everything, and now you're going to get reamed. If you go on your pallet, I'm very surprised. I mean, the monk's just running for unknown reasons. <laughs> like, what? Why? What's he running from? Look at this fucking enemy monk. What's he doing? Like here, he's just he, he's nice. He's done a nice little kick on Shaman. All right, he gets he gets busted up a little bit, but it's all fine. Pala gets feared. Instantly, it gets fucking broken. You get full hodged. All fucking good. What like where where's the monk gone during all this? He's completely chill. Did he get knocked down? A knockdown. It looked like a knockdown, dude. Let's see. Was it a nutty... Uh... No, there's no way it was a knockdown, dude. He just jumps off. He fists and just jumps off. What the fuck? This guy's crazy. Okay, nice. He ports back up. Back onto you for one global and then off. Like, Priest is stunned, man. What are you doing? I don't know why I'm commenting on the Monk's play, dude. This is fucking questionable, though. Shaman gets shocked on Lasso. I like it. Monk is just, like, doing nothing. Okay, now he pops a cooldown. Gets another kick on Shadow. Still doesn't really know who he's on. He's getting reamed a bit more. Everyone gets knocked. Rip the monk's cooldown, I guess. There go the pets. <laughs> okay. Um, now you're in an alright spot. We like this spot. Now you're back in. Now you're sapped. Okay, the sap, I mean, it would happen regardless. You get knocked down. Nice little play by the monk there. What's he going on? He's on the sham. Hodge on you. You trinket it. Uh, you're you're oom because you've just been like running around aimlessly, basically, and the other team has just been doing damage. I guess I don't fucking know. I actually don't know why you're oom. I feel like nothing happened in this game yet. I'm going to watch this again from the start because I'm so confused. Like, nothing happened in this game. Both teams did nothing. Oh, 
Ooh, the triple stun. Oh, the last minute radiance. Okay, we like that. I like the drink effort, mate. I do like it. Oh, no. That's the painful one, trying to drink in the earth find. <laughs> okay, um... Like, your team doesn't really have a plan with regards to who you're trying to kill. It's more just like, oh, yeah, we'll just run around and, and do damage to stuff when it's, like, there. You know? And this is a, like a big problem for you because it makes it harder for you to decide who to fear and when to push for it. Because that's the only time realistically you should be pushing against this. If you push during a time where the other team has pressure or a time when you guys aren't doing pressure, then the other team is just going to either A, go on you or B, like stun you with shit. Like sap, stun, whatever, right? You're just donating yourself for it. There's no reason to push uh, if you're not pushing for a fear. Um, so a lot of this game just doesn't make sense from that regard. Uh, you can literally just push in, door in, whatever, when the guys are doing a go on the pala. Like pretty much every Hodge you guys could do on the pala. Whenever there's a Hodge, Rhett runs in with freedom, Hodge is a pala, both of them just go ape on him and you fear the sham. Like that, sh that for me is your play here. Guy Fury not getting killed by anyone. Interesting. The boys are doing another go on the Pala. Pala still has Trinket, so it's never going to work. Because you, you didn't force enough stuff. And yeah, he just dies because you're... Um, right, let's watch it through again real quick. So, what are these two men's? Dude, no wonder you're fucking him. Look at this. Look, look at these, look at this Murat, what is, what is this? The shaman does his, his little lava burst shit. No one's in trouble, why are you mending? What is this? You just did two shadow mends for no fucking reason. Shadow mend is like a last resort shit. Like biggest last resort, radiance. Second last resort, shadow mend. Assuming we're not using cooldowns because they're not using cooldowns, right? You don't mend to top people off. No wonder you're going oom so fast. Mend is expensive, man. Mend is like your second most expensive thing. If you discount like master spell, but with, if we're talking heals, radiance is like most expensive, and then mend. You wanna you wanna you wanna heal that shit out with atonement, man. There's no reason to to, to mend there. Yeah, man. You you fucking hoard yourself out for two mends, man. Like holy crap. All right, okay, so they push in, get double stunned. I feel like your guys shouldn't be getting double stunned there, but fair enough. Their pallet pushes in, hodges you. You dome. I mean, there's no real reaction. Are they still in stun? They're not in stun, dude. Look at this. Where's your rat? He's down the ramp. Doesn't get the hodge because the guy legs it. You throw a dome out, and they're just like, no, nope, I'm not having it. We're off. Straight out. Try and use the dome on the double stun. Let's see, how unfortunate is this? Let's see. I don't even know if you could dome this. This is like fucking Chuckle Brothers over there getting double stunned. So like, you don't, you're not even looking at what the fucking monk's doing at that point. You could have probably domed that. I guess it's not that important because... Like, they didn't really pop much, so it's kind of whatever. But yeah, this dome is useless here for your boys. Because they instantly just run away from it and your guys follow. Now you're spamming men's. Like, you do, like, four mens or something. Again, probably not needed. If you see them use... Like, you can just do damage to stuff, right? Just, like, dot two things up. Do damage to stuff. Use penance for healing. Penance is good single target healing. If you see them pop CDs and you don't... They don't have CC for you. Okay, cool. Just drop a rapture. No worries. And then if you don't have a rapture, that's when you want to look to mend. The thing with Dome, right, against a good Windwalker is it's fucking useless, Murat. Because what will happen is... The Windwalker will do their stun, right? With all their damage. And then you're like, oh, sweet, no. Time to dome it. And then they just knock them out of it. And then the dome is essentially 
wasted because you end up having to use another cooldown anyway, if it's a good monk. So you guys, you guys actually got the bubble, which is a fucking miracle. Um, and to be honest, like you should be on 80% mana. Based on what has happened in this game, you could be on 80% mana and then like down Rapture and have no other cooldowns. Like no, no other things on cooldown. Oh, the cat hair man is getting me good today. That's where I'm looking at this game right now. You, you didn't need to push in this much. Obviously, we already talked about that. Um... If this team was good, they would have just gone on you here as well, and it would have been another cooldown, probably PS. Um, Monk pops another pink buff. You can literally just rapture this. There it is. Good stuff. Everyone gets stunned, but, but the fucking Shaman knocks it. Oh, man, that's tragic again from them. Um, so the Shaman Giga saves you guys there. There was about to be some meltage going on. Uh, you do like another 10 mends. Don't mend if you have penance on, man. Like, let me see this shit. How many mends you do? Okay, it was fine. It was fine. Your penance was on cooldown. I thought for a second it was uh, available there. You get knocked down. You can just penance there. Remember, you can move while penancing. And you could have got it off before you fell too low. Instead, you went for a radiance. So you got... Bit fucked on mana again. Try to dot both if you can. Especially if you're playing Trinity. I have no idea if you are or not. I mean, this is just... You just lose on mana. Like... Your team could have probably done an, a, a couple more goes, but yeah, you you wanna you're playing too much like um like I don't know I I want to say a pallet, but all this shit's instant. You're playing more like a conventional healer rather than disc. Um, you need to be dotting stuff more, trying to get two dots on things always. You don't want to push in as much. You're gonna be standing back and doing damage more to heal. Um, if you can do that and then push in for fears, your mana is going to last a lot longer because you're, right now, you're radiancing too much and you're mending too much and your mana is going because of it. I think as this comp, you could honestly play Dark, at least against against Wimoku, you could play Dark, Radiance, Trinity. And then you're going to get a lot of healing from Trinity from the two dots and then you can Penance aggressively. If shit's going down, you Penance defensively. Um, or if they're using a cooldown, you use Rapture. You know, you really want to try and avoid using Mend and Radiance as much as you can. I feel like I've seen like 10 Mends and 10 Radiances already this game. Like, it's no wonder you're Oom. You're a wizard, Harry. Yo, Zen. Thanks for the host, dude. Hope you had a good stream, bro. Um, does that make sense, Murat? What to improve? Positioning, cross fearing on goes, healing with damage. It's like your main three things. Stay back, push in for fear, and then back again. It's like a like a yo yo, and then yeah, while you're back, do damage. Uh, make sure things are dotted. Use the damage to heal as much as possible. If they use cooldowns and you can't keep up with the damage, uh, you, with atonement, then you use uh, either dome, rapture. Um, or if it's really bad, you use, you know, you use like a defensive penance, um, or next line of defense is a mend, uh, or in emergency, it's a radiance. Anyway, I've said the same things a few times now. <laughs> 